I'm making a South Indian a coconut curry leaf based chicken curry with a very simple neer dosa which is you which is just rice flour and cornstarch and you pour them into make them like crepes and we have about a pound of chicken thigh coconut milk and a whole sprig of curry leaves about 10 to 15 leaves if you don't have curry leaves you can use fresh bay leaves uh, which are finely chopped up uh, coriander powder, mustard seeds, and this is fenugreek seeds, ginger, about a tablespoon, salt, chili powder, and turmeric, along with one and a half cups of uh, onions, chopped, tomato, as well as a pound of chicken. I use chicken thigh today, but you can always use um, chicken breast if you'd like. I put about two teaspoons of oil, chopped up the curry leaves, and about half a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds and mustard seeds. I'm going to let them brown a bit. And get all the aroma as it grows in oil. A little bit of turmeric powder maybe about half a teaspoon and about a teaspoon of coriander powder and about a tablespoon of ginger the onion and the tomato We let it cook down till it gets translucent. The onions get translucent and the tomatoes uh, get a little mushy. So you can see that the tomatoes and the onions with all the spices have come together and cooked. It took about uh, three to uh, four minutes. I push it off to the side, make room in the center of the pan for the pound of chicken thigh that I cubed. And I brown it on the side. Just take a little more than five minutes to surround. The idea of uh, you know cooking it in one pan, which um, most of my cooking is done, is less cleanup at the end of all your cooking. So one large pan, this one usually has. Uh, this one has a lid on it that usually I don't cover it if I cut up the chicken into small pieces as it cooks pretty fast. Uh, it's only with uh, uh, chicken or meat on, a bo on the bone where you want to cover it to speed up the cooking. So 
So you can see the chicken is already brown. We combine it all together. Two cups of water. I just added the salt and chili powder to taste. We like our food a little spicy, so I added about a teaspoon of chili powder. Any kind of cayenne or chili powder works. Um, And you bring it to a boil which should take about 15 minutes or so so while my chicken is cooking I'm gonna be making a uh, neer dosa which literally translates to water and rice flour dosa and uh, it's basically has two cups of rice flour and then a tablespoon of cornstarch salt and water mixed together and poured in a crepe pan. I use a crepe pan, which is a non-stick pan, and uh, you use less oil as well as, uh, uh, you know, it cooks really fast, and it goes great with the chicken curry. As you can see, the chicken is simmering, and, um, but if you don't want to make those, you can also serve it on a bed of uh, quinoa with uh, rice uh, mixed together, which I usually do many a time, or just quinoa, or just a bit of uh, uh, lentils would go very well with that too. It's been about 15 to 20 minutes. The chicken is fully cooked. You can see the consistency. Perfect for uh, dipping with the dosa. Now you add half a cup of coconut milk and about two tablespoons of chopped coriander, fresh coriander, and the juice of half a lime or lemon. I did not have lime today, so I used uh, lemon. Works pretty well. And you're done. Here's the batter for the dosa. You can see the consistency. Pretty watery. And I've lightly sprayed the crepe pan. And all I do this pork really thin <coughs> and I put a little bit of oil. I put a lid on it so one side is steaming while the other side browns. So it's a very soft, thin dosa. And here is the finished product. You can see it's really soft. You can make it crispy if you like, if you leave it on the pan for a few more minutes. But it tastes best when it's soft.